Hi, this is Galila Sinatra. Uh, today I'm going to give you some tips on how to use the SL edit tools and um, some little tips that a lot of people don't realize are there that can make life easier for you when you're in the design process using spot-on choreography tools. Uh, the first one is I'm, I'm constantly surprised that people don't know these camming tips um, and many of them use the default SL cam controls and I'll show you uh, those and you're probably very familiar with them but it's kind of limited uh, when I click an arrow I got left or right or up and down I'm only uh, moving in one direction at one time and uh, the zoom tools um, are very touchy and um, it's hard to get exactly uh, where you want to be. So let me close those. I have never uh, used those, by the way. Um, another one that uh, a lot of people use is just holding the Alt key and this changes your cursor to the little um, kind of magnifying glass or monitor on a stick <laughs> with a plus mark in it and uh, then whatever I click on um, it will go to it and um, if I just move my mouse forward while clicking then I can zoom in it's free-flowing and um, it's much more controllable I can pan around but notice um, I'm panning and kind of zooming at the same time and I don't mean to be so that doesn't give me a lot of control on the zoom I feel um, but um, that uh, is just holding the alt key many people use that what I hold is the control alt my cursor changes to um, a little monitor looking thing with a with a arrow in a circle and um, now whatever I click on I'm zooming to it quickly and then I can rotate around and um, if I go if I move my mouse up and down that's when my whole view goes up and down and I use the scroll wheel to zoom and that just seems uh, more comfortable to me and uh, it, I feel it gives me more control so pick which one you are comfortable with and get to know it well because um, you're gonna need it and find it comes in very handy when you are um, designing your route so of course the first thing you do is pull your um, designer ring out of your inventory and I already have one out and you would accept the pop-up uh, for the link and D-link. So now you want to make sure that your designer ring is facing in the correct direction. Usually your ring would be backstage and you're going to go out onto stage. Um, so if I wanted to turn this <coughs> this by the way I'm going to show you is snapping to the grid and snapping to the grid just means it's perfectly aligned has nothing really uh, to do you don't have to worry about it being with the grid um, per se I mean it's just making sure that it's straight so say I want to uh, rotate this and I uh, if my stage was over here somewhere and I want to go out that way and I want to make sure that it's lined. Most buildings are aligned to the grid, so you want to make sure that you're heading in the correct uh, direction. So I can turn it uh, this way by using um, the rotate tool. And I can kind of eyeball it and make sure it's straight. And Or I can drag my cursor outside of these tick marks here, and then it will snap and that means that it's snapped to the grid um, but more likely uh, it's snapped to the your build that you're inside so um, th that would be how you make sure that things are straight um, with uh, rotation so now I'm going to add a waypoint and this is the um, 
area where um, most new people have a, have a problem with because it's a link set and you have um, one part of the link inside the other and you want to get the inside one out and this could be um, sometimes annoying because when you do the edit link parts and you, you, you're trying to edit it and it figures I get it right away but a lot of times uh, you know they're clicking 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 and they can't get it what you have to do is what you should do to make it a lot um, less frustrating is just click outside of the ring somewhere first click anything else first like the floor if the floor is a prim and then go back and you get it right away so let's just do that again I want to edit linked edit linked parts I'm clicking the floor and then back right away I get the waypoint so less frustrating so now I'm going to drag this out and um, if my here's another uh, part of snapping to the grid if my um, cursor is inside these tick marks um, I have a free flow and uh, you know I'm gonna line it up there or if I have my cursor outside of these tick marks it snaps to the grid so if I have a line of dancers here and they're all coming out and they're all going to line up in the same place I'm gonna make sure that the waypoint is snapped to the grid and then they'll uh, then snap them all to the grid and then you know that they're all perfectly aligned so that's how you do that um, now I'm going to add another waypoint and show you about um, local and grid view. So here's another thing uh, where um, it might be hard to grab the one and because I'm getting all of them and if I'm not careful I'm still clicking both of them so I'll just click the floor and grab that one. So now I'm going to take waypoint two and drag it over here somewhere and of course I want to make sure that my dancer is facing in the direction of travel and you want your second waypoint to be facing in the direction of travel so I'm going to rotate it now I can take a guess and say that that looks good or what I can do is go to I'm in this uh, world view right here. That means that when I'm in world view, my directional arrows are always going to face north, south, east, west. But I want to see what is the front, back, and left and right side of this. So I would say local. I would go to local here. Now the directional arrows are going to show me the prim's front the prims back and the prims left and right. Now if I cam over and I look I can see that my that the back of the uh, prim is just about going through the center of that so then I know that it is pretty much lined up and will be correctly faced. Unfortunately you don't see that line when you're doing the rotation but you can drag your cursor back to here it's outside and then I see that um, my line there is going um, to where my cursor is of course and then if I place that in the center then I also know that that's aligned perfectly and the dancer will be facing in the correct direction when she moves another thing with the local is if you want to uh, say you have something that's on an angle and let me go back to world and show you this so my curtain here is on an angle and I want to put it in the corner here if I go like that you know I can come back and forth and line it up and take it back and forth and get it like that so that's four or five clicks or I can simply put it on local, line that up, and take it right back. Two clicks, easy. 
but for uh, in general purposes you want to make sure that you are in world view. So I go back to world view. So that's snapping to the grid. Say if I um, move this and I accidentally move the whole thing. Uh-oh, now I'm messed up and I want to get it back to to alignment. What you can do is edit it and hit Control Z. Control Z is undo. You Word users and um, you know PowerPoint users and stuff, Control Z takes you right back to where it was. It works for the whole link set as you just saw or it will work for one link. So here I am and say I move that. Oops, I didn't want that there. Control Z, it works for that too. So now we want to um, say we want the same start position and we want to um, make a copy of the well let's let's do this we we want to make a copy and we want to have another dancer coming the same direction I'm sorry facing uh, this dancer and say this is stage left and stage right and they want to you want to make sure that this uh, person comes exactly across so I'm going to make sure that the whole thing is snapped to the grid, the whole link set, and so now it's perfectly with the grid. I'm going to drag, sh hold shift, and grab uh, one of the arrows and drag. So now I have a copy. On my copy, I'm going to get this pop-up, uh, the link and D-link, so you must say yes to that. The thing is with, uh, um, you should know that um, with making copies this way, shift, drag, make copies, you are not actually dragging the copy. You are dragging the original. What is left in the original spot is the copy. That's important to know. So what I'm going to do is just turn this around and I'm going to make sure I'm locked to the grid. Now it's perfectly facing that and I'm going to move it and say I want my dancers there. I'm going to snap that to the grid and now they're perfectly lined up. You can see the green arrow goes through them. These two are perfectly lined up across from each other so that is copying and um, snapping to the grid. So now I say if I want to rotate this um, slightly and you want to, I can't think of an example right now but uh, sometimes this comes in handy um, uh, uh, by rotating at the root axis. Um, if I rotate the whole thing, uh, right now I am rotating at the root axis, which is generally what you want to do. That is the default. This setting right here, edit axis at root. If I wanted to rotate on, and the rotation would be the center of the entire link set, I would turn that off and then you see that my um, my rotation thing jumps to the middle of the way set. So then I can rotate it this way. Uh, there have been times where I had where this came in handy using the choreography system. I can't think of one right now but um, just remember that it's there and that the default is edit access at the root which is generally what you want. Um, now I'd like to show you copy and paste exact positions. Uh, this comes up a lot when um, dancers have someone else make their build and they put them in a res 
Rezzer, um, if, the, if you do your own build and you have stage manager or use stage marker, uh, you usually don't have this issue. But uh, for people who have the build made for them by someone else, and of course, if they're using stage marker that comes with the performance director HUD, um, it's it's hard for them to make sure that their stage marker is in the exact same position when they get to the venue and the builder reses the set. What the builder can do for you, um, or you can make a prim and give it to the builder, um, so he can pack it with the set in the same exact spot, is you put a prim out and you essentially mark the position where your stage marker is supposed to be. So I can show you how you would do that. You would just take um, a, a, a box, a prim, um, I'm going to stretch it down and let's say this is backstage and or wherever you have your stage marker and you want it hidden somewhere on the set. So let's say it's uh, backstage center and um, this is the position where you would put your stage marker. Let me grab one. And that's a beta. So there's my stage marker and let's just make sure that um, it's rotated. And this thing this marker, my my prim here for marker, I'm going to snap it to the grid, make sure it's uh, perfectly snapped. So now I want to make sure that my stage marker is going to be at the same place, so I need exact measurements. So I'm going to get the position of this prim, and how I'm going to do that, I'm going to copy the position of the prim and paste it to the stage marker. So I'm going to go here to the position and in the object tab and press the C and now I have that copied to the clipboard and now click my stage marker and click P. Now it's perfectly centered even uh, on the Z axis up and down and centered. So if if it was a different rotation, let's just say my my stage marker was like that, and I wanted the stage marker to be in the same orientation as my marker board here, I would go down here to the rotation in degrees, copy, and paste. And you have two P's on all of these boxes. It doesn't matter which one you click. You just click one and there I have the exact position. So what you would do is give this board and the coordinates to the to the builder when the builder would um, or he would put one for you and um, connect that to the set so when you get to the venue he reses the set the board is there so then you can then get the exact position of that board and put your stage marker there and then your movers will know exactly where to go. And that is it for today. I hope you learned something and um, happy dancing and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.